Okay, we're going to connect the iPad to the Wi-Fi network on the IFD. I'm using two iPads. One's running the simulator that you see here, the IFD trainer, and the other is running, we'll run ForeFlight on it. So I'm going to take you through how to uh, transfer a flight plan from the iPad into the panel mounted unit. And since we're doing it on the trainers, we'll talk about it for if you want to do it at home, you'll need two iPads. One for the trainer, one running for flight, so you can practice it. If I'm running two iPads, then you just make sure you have them both on your home network. So, in this case, if I come over here, my TomNet 79 is my office home home uh, Wi-Fi network. So both iPads are on the same network. If I come over here and go to Wi-Fi, you can see they're both on the same network. So that means that uh, They'll talk to each other automatically because the trainer's got that feature. I just turned off the bezel on this. Uh, so there's the trainer and there's the iPad. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, they're going to talk to each other like they would in the airplane, but inside the airplane itself, connectivity, you'll have this is your network in the airplane. Here's the hotspot, which is your serial number, your IFD. Make sure that shows up and is connecting to your iPad. And we've got a security feature in the panel mounted units so that if you have multiple iPads trying to connect, they'll, the default is that they're going to be blocked. So that you'll want to go in into your devices and select the one you're always using in the cockpit, either to connect always or one time or never, or you can block it. So uh, if you're in an airplane, a private airplane, maybe your kid's got an iPad in the back, if they try to connect to the Wi-Fi in the airplane, uh, you can keep it blocked, and that way they won't uh, connect in. And That's why we have that feature. For the iPad you're going to use, just go in there and change that to always, and then next time you come in, it'll recognize that serial number, and it'll connect automatically. Okay, so let's launch for flight. Come over here. I've put in a flight plan that's a circular flight plan just to have some waypoints in there. that We've taken off out of Sacramento. MCC McClellan and just kind of heading around if hitting a few VORs and making it back home. So I want to load that into my IFD. So I plan my flight at home. I come out to the airplane. Uh, I fire up my IFD. It knows I'm at McClellan Airport. Let's go to the route so I can either touch the tab or hit this FMS button and move over to the route tab. And you can see there's no stored routes in here. So now I'm going to push this button on the for flight, which is to broadcast on the Wi-Fi. I'm going to, I can load from the panel or I can send it to panel. I want to obviously send it to the panel. So I push that button and boom, you see I've got an upload ready. A root upload is ready. And there it is, MCC to MCC. So I will scroll down using my knob here. to that and activate that route and there's all the waypoints and it's on my map and it's ready to roll so now I can activate that flight plan and I can take off so it's now I'm ready to go and you'll see once I start flying here let's just take the simulator off pause so that I start flying you'll see that an airplane shows up on for flight now instead of a dot that means that it's communicating gps position from the panel mount to for flight so now we're going to low terrain, terrain. Yeah, right i'll go back here and get some altitude on my simulator okay so we've got our airplane last charlie, charlie above. above yeah sure why not so we've got our airplane so that means our position is reporting and now we're off and we're en route. We're climbing out. So just for fun, I'm going to go to the route tab here. I'm going to copy this into my stored routes. I'm going to make a copy of it. And then I'm going to uh, go back to the route list. I'm going to highlight that one that I just copied. That's it. And I'm going to invert it. Now it's reverse order. So let's go back to the root list and activate it. 
So let's activate that flight plan. Boom. Now we got, now we're going the other way. We're on a different flight plan just for the sake of the discussion here. So our floor flight doesn't agree with it. So now what I can do is I can hit the radio button and load from the panel. And now I'm going the backwards way. I'm going clockwise instead. Transferring flight plans is really easy.